We'll, uh, I want you to try to absolutely bury yourself going into the ski. Yeah, we'll... Got it. <laughs> we'll do. Three leg lifts, 30 step ups, 30 toes to bar, 30 single arm shoulder overhead, and then 30 counts. Right. Basically three of everything except for those. Is this a punishment for Hunter? Yes. Yeah, Hunter can barely do any of these movements at all, um, and he's been talking back too much recently. So we decided to write the Hunter Dies Chipper, mini chipper. He also can't really go that hard, so we figured if it was short, he might even be forced into doing that. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I can't go really hard. I, it's a rumor, it's been going around the gym. He's hoping to imam the legless and then get a few of each before the time cap, which we get set at 25 minutes. 25 minutes for everybody or 25 minutes just for Hunter? Just for Hunter. Everybody else can keep going. Now, this actually is a pretty short time domain. Um, it, it looks daunting on paper, all jokes aside, troll over. Um, <laughs> um, obviously three legless rope climbs can be extremely short for some people or be spread out. The good thing is that if you do struggle with these um, and you do not scale, you're going to feel pretty good by the time you're done, whereas somebody else metabolically is going to have a bit more demand there. So um, as you're working your way through this piece, because it is a chipper and because you do get an opportunity to go hard here at the end again, um, I think you can take some chances. One of the best things about having these larger rep ranges all at once is that you can learn a bunch of stuff. And if you play it too safe, you're not really going to learn anything. So um, we'll watch Hunter here. He's actually pretty good at all these movements and does usually go pretty hard so i'm going to try to goat him into to maybe overreaching a little bit to see where he can pick up some tips throughout the workout what movement are we going to do in the workout feature all right let's do a thousand of them the day before just to make them primed hey ted i hear you can take some risks in this one where you're going to take your risks. who the fuck told you that the last 30 cows so yeah, I'll, take, I'll, take, I'll take some risks in the last 10 cows or so of that 30 cal ski See if we got anything in the tank. Now this will be a good one. Uh, looks like a fun workout. Nice of us to make the rope climbs first and not like at the end, because then it might actually be a 25 minute workout. But Did you pat yourself on the back? Did I write this one? Somebody's got that. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I'm someone's got that. that meme again. <laughs> the long arms are good for something. Step ups are, I like the like single unilateral movements, single leg stuff, the lunging. I don't really like pistols, so I guess mostly just lunging and step ups, step up, step over. So um, today's a good day for me to challenge kind of the MFT version. Um, hatchets, pretty pretty similar, but with a 60 pound dumbbell um, and just a small rep reduction here and there. But um, most of these movements are not necessarily wheelhouse, but I'm comfortable with them, and I've done. I'm familiar with the heavy single arm shoulder to overhead. That's probably why, because I like that movement, so I put it in the program. So uh, I'm comfortable enough with that, with that movement. So we'll, uh, I want you to try to absolutely bury yourself going into the ski. Uh, yeah, we'll f Got it. <laughs> will do. You look going broken on the so far. I think I'm going to try. A little, a little bit. You make that dumbbell look really big. Thanks. That's just the right number of all the movements to, to not to not allow yourself to be sad for too long. Except for the legless rope climbs, I'll be sad for. Doesn't that create a cumulative sadness? It does. It'll it'll that will culminate around <laughs> calorie number six. Ten seconds. Are you supposed to be home?
Can you hear the song? Damper you want this on? Huh? Like a five. Indeed. Good work. Thank you. 519, first person to send a faster time. Misfit gear pack on the house. Need video proof. Um, yeah, I mean, that's exactly what we wanted it to be. And uh, taking chances, sometimes you learn what not to do or what to do. And he knows now that even if his legs are pumping a little bit, that he can go over to the toes to bar and muckle on and breathe his way through 30 reps and honestly probably more you looked like you were still pretty comfortable you weren't yeah. really doing anything weird with your movement um shoulder to overhead look great and i think i think there's a, a few things that he can he can do with his ski when he's trying to sprint to go a little bit faster but that's in terms of stimulus i mean that's exactly what we want something like that to look like and i will say that it's really important with his legless rope climbs if you know, you want to rewind back and look at them, but he looked like an absolute psychopath going up the rope. And it seems maybe counterintuitive that you're expending all that energy, but he's getting up the rope so fast and time under tension is the name of the game. So you see him fly up, you see him reach and then immediately sort of come back down, you know, fireman style. So anytime that you're doing the legless rope climbs, especially if it's a skill session or something lower rep like this, you've got to learn to go as fast as possible. All the kipping and all the hand over hand stuff is going to make it hard for you to ever really develop your legless rope climbs. So, um, yeah, there you have it. Short and sweet question mark. <laughs>
that was fun. That's the right, that's just the right dose of every movement to where you can really push your threshold and, and try to hold on. I think uh, I had a few shouldered overhead where it was like probably kind of a push press, but I tried to dip under it and it was just kind of a little inefficient and just your arms are a little bit tired at that point. But I think the biggest thing, um, the legless rope climbs, I've been working on one kind of like getting that same knee up as I reach, um, as we, we talk about that in videos, but probably more so is the coming, the, the descent part. And for any athletes out there who are like, because that's, that's a pretty like common thing at a, at a higher level, and but with some practice, it's definitely like attainable. So it's kind of like you're pinching that rope between your feet and just, you don't actually drop that far. It probably looks like I dropped or free fell further than I did. Um, but it was never to the point where I was like, you know, in midair for a long period of time before I re-grip that rope. So, um, and for anybody looking to practice that, it's as easy as climb halfway up the rope or a quarter of the way up the rope and practice pinching the rope, letting go, and then re-gripping just to build the confidence. Uh, and you'll be at the top doing that in no time. So, um, fun workout. Push, push your threshold on every movement. You... The next movement isn't necessarily one that used like the exact same kind of muscle groups as the movement before it. So push your threshold, but the cumulative effect, um, by the time you get to the ski erg, that's where you get your intensity. So push, push your threshold on the more muscul muscular movements and then fucking hammer it on the ski. Good luck. Someone beat me.